A little over 27 years ago, we did a crazy thing. We took the clock off the finish line and put it on your wrist. And Timex Ironman became your coach, your motivation, a symbol of your journey to your own finish line. What we never expected is where you'd take us. Timex Ironman. Show yourself what you can do. Hi, everybody. Russ here, and this is episode six of the Streak Podcast. Today, I'm going to be talking about the history of a device that was super important to me way back in 1988 when I started training for my first triathlon. That is the Timex Triathlon Watch. I remember buying my first Timex Triathlon from Argos in Slough. It was maybe in 1985 or 1986, when I was still just a runner. When it came out, it really was a technological leap forward. You could store lap times and the buttons were easy to see and press. Features you only previously got on classic handheld stopwatches. Here's a quote from the Timex website. In 1984, we took the clock off the finish line and put it on your wrist to create the world's first sports watch. Timex Ironman became your coach, your motivation and symbol of your dedication. And together, we've crossed nearly every finish line in the world. The original Timex Triathlon was released in 1984 after development work by Timex's in-house designers and input from the Ironman organisers, writers from Runner's World magazine and serious athletes. These apparently included Mary Decker Slaney and Alberto Salazar. In 1984, Timex was already a sponsor of the Hawaii Ironman and they hoped that this new digital product would improve their lacklustre sales. Timex's product manager for digital launches, Mario Sabatini, even flew to Kona in October 1984 to get a feel for the market. He took 1,500 Timex triathlon watches with him to sell to athletes. The watches were priced at $35 and he sold them all. In 1986, Timex acquired the rights to use the word Iron Man and launched the Timex Ironman watch alongside the Timex Triathlon. The Ironman had a different colour scheme to the Triathlon, black and yellow rather than black and red. The Ironman logo was added and the water-resistant rating was increased from 50 metres to 100 metres. When British surf brand Animal released their Velcro fastening aftermarket straps in 1987, my mum started sewing fake ones to go on your Timex. My brother would then sell them spiv style out of his school blazer. He also offered a bespoke size and colourway service. If the 1984 partnership between Timex and Ironman gave Timex a boost, the roles were reversed in 1986. By 1985, the top professional triathletes were preferring Nice to the Hawaii Ironman. Nice had offered prize money since its inception in 1982 and Hawaii still refused to. Nice was often held a couple of weeks before Kona and few athletes wanted to put out two huge efforts so close together. 1985 even saw a kind of boycott of the Hawaii Ironman by many of the pro athletes. But in 1986, the Timex Ironman watch had become the best-selling watch in the USA and was earning royalties for Iron Man. On top of that, an anonymous donor put up $100,000 to be used as prize money, if the organisers so wished. This monetary offer was accepted, pushing the race out of its cosy family aura and into the big time, wrote Timothy Carlson in the September 2003 issue of Inside Triathlon magazine. We now know that this anonymous donor was Steve Drogin from La Jolla, California. Drogin was a real estate developer, philanthropist and serious scuba diver. He also had a house in Kona. For more information on those 1985 and 1986 Kona races, I urge you to read Iron Will by Mike Plant. There's a link to it in the show notes. 
Of course, nowadays, not many triathletes use just a simple digital watch. GPS has taken over. I appreciate some aspects of the technology and I have a simple Garmin device and a Strava account. But I'm not hung up about it. I don't upload half the stuff I do or obsess over the data. So I think I'm going to start logging my near daily exercise on paper again and try to get hold of a Timex. Does Argos still exist? Enter the world of Timex cords. Great looks that can take a licking. The Timex Triathlon has an eight lap memory chronograph. It's for men and women of iron. Thanks for listening to the end. Remember to check out the show notes at thestreetpodcast.com forward slash podcast forward slash six. As always, if you've got a question, a correction, some extra historical information, or just want to say hi, you can email me at thestreakpodcast at gmail.com.